school, but he had his hands on it. Someone else brought it in, and he said, let me see it. And we want to teach our children here from the beginning, stay away from trouble. You know, if you got it, just walk the other way. Okay, it could have been a real gun. It could have killed somebody. You never know. So we wanted to stop that. So he was suspended. I was called. And I'm calling the run, writing the courts, calling the courts to judge, and tell him, look, you know, let's bring him in. And uh, the judge ignored me, but I kept, you know, his facts and letters all over the world, even to the president, you know, talking about the judge. So finally he brought the child in, the young man in. And he didn't tell, uh, say anything to the young man about him kicking his grandmother's door down, not keeping his curfew, or even the BB gun. Only thing, I recommended that he be given more community service time, which I had placed him in a church, a positive environment, and weekends in the youth house. And when the young man came back in the court, he didn't say anything about all the negative things. All he said to the young man was, she, referring to me, she want us to lock you up. That was the straw that broke the camel's back. You know, I because he, he, this judge was actually trying to turn a young man who, as far as the judge was concerned, he could be a gang member. And he may kill her. I said, this man would set me up to, to have me killed. You know, he turned this kid against me. That was it. There were other issues which I will tell you about, but that was the point. Where is the Ministry of Justice? You know? But the young man, I had told the young man before we went into the courtroom <clears throat> that they did not want me helping him. And when he came, and then the judge ordered me out of his courtroom. Then we came outside, I waited for him outside the courtroom, and the young man came out. He sat there with tears in his eyes, and he said, I wish I could ask him to lock me up for at least a week. He wanted to help. He really wanted help. While people were telling me, oh, he didn't want anything, in which they say a lot about a lot of these children. But they don't go deep down. And to prove to you how much this young man wanted help, his mother had eight children. She gave them all to the grandmother. He was the fourth child. The three before him did not graduate. And he said to me, I got to graduate. I got to prove to my mother that something good came from her. That's deep. That's wanting something, you know? That's wanting something. And he did graduate. He went on to a place of higher learning, computers, which he should be graduating from that in a few months. And of course, we're going to encourage him to continue on. But uh, the sky is open up for him now, you know? And he's really, really thankful. But again, I could have even, he'd be still on edge, because all of my children today are on edge, you know? Uh, but he would have been more if we had the more support from the courts, you know, because it's working together, you know, and not letting them get away with it. And this has happened a lot with different judges. Uh, one, uh, one kid, I was on their probation, which was my son, and uh, the probation officer was upset because I um, was involved in his program, which he didn't have a program, trying to, hey, look, this kid needs a program. This, he needs some demands on him. And the probation officer got mad with me because I'm the one who had to complain out against my son, okay? So he goes to, uh, I think it was Judge Glenn Grant, and recommends that I take my, that he takes my son off probation because I was involved in the program. Now, and Judge Grant 
granted that request. No one gets off probation because the mother is involved. You know, to get off probation because you have complied, you have proven yourself. Okay? And he did this. Again, where is the Ministry of Justice? Um, th then, again, with my son, his, uh, he was living in Pennsylvania. He had children here, you know, and I'm telling the courts that, look, do not let this ma young man leave the state, right? And I think that was Judge Frasca. Now, I'm really upset with Judge Frasca already because two years before, I had said to Judge Frasca that uh, let's put this young man on a strict probation program. Uh, and he said to me, it looks like the mother wants us to do her job. Hey, whatever is your job. You know, you've been appointed, you're paid by the public to do something, do it, you know? And uh, if I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do, God will deal with me. And he didn't do it, all right? Two years later, this young man, my son, who had not complied with the order of probation, is back before him again. Right now, we have Pat Hurt in uh, charge of the prosecution. I'm writing. You know, I'm giving them some history because we had got caught up in a diaper situation. And it was not because my um, I, I was a bad mother because I never was. People who know me know that I never was. It's that my husband and I broke up and that we um, had a... Uh, well, he p tried to put me in a position where I would come begging. So uh, what I uh, decided to do was um, continue on with my work. I sort of lost track there for a minute. But, uh, <laughs> that, you know, explaining why a lot of the problems were, you know, thinking back to some of those days is sort of sad for me. While the boys started acting in that way by getting caught up with diapers, which in reality, these situations help charge uh, a lot of uh, problems that we are having in my family by getting caught up in this system, okay? So um, what I'm saying is that um, the Ministry of Justice came about when, uh, in this particular case, when I'm talking to Judge Frasca, and I'm asking Judge Frasca to um, give this young man, my son, a, a <coughs> discipline program that can help him for the second time around. I had his children in the court asking that he would do so, and he refused to do it. <coughs> he allowed this young man to live in Pennsylvania, gave him permission to live in Pennsylvania, did not even check with Pennsylvania if they would accept his probation program there, you know, and just let him go. And I said, they sent him up to fail. So that um, sort of, again, made me ask, where is the Ministry of Justice? And along with the fact, now I see why. Our children are constantly falling through the cracks. They come out, they go back. They come out, they go back. Then they got all these negative things and I miss. And here I am, an organization that's been trying, even to a point, I, and I have all this here documented. In our courts today, this is what happened in our Exus County courts. Mm -hmm. They even allow a judge to get away with perjury, which really hurt me to my heart. I had maintained facilities for 15 years where I provided good programs for our youth. And they evicted me on a lie. And then a lie on top of that, when they said to, um, when we first went into court, they said that if you're corporate, you have to have, incorporated, you have to have an attorney to represent you. The landlord, which was incorporated, came back three, two months later and renewed his complaint, but under his private name. And I'm telling the judge, I said, hey, you can't hear this after he given an order to evict. I said, he doesn't own that building. He said, he didn't have time to hear that. I said, that's the law, you're supposed to hear this. 
So I did an order to show cause. And uh, and during the order to show cause, I brought in his deed, and then they had to take that. Uh,